Hey YouTube, what is going on? It is Jackstar back with another video, and today I was just looking through my comments. I'm actually a little bit low on deck ideas right now, but I was looking through my comments, and I saw this really interesting deck, and this is a bridge spam deck, so that was why I paid a little bit more attention to the deck suggestion. But my viewer said that he had won against like a really good player when he hadn't even hit champion or something like that, and I was really captivated. I wanted to see if this deck was the real deal. He sent me the cards. I put in Mother Witch for Goblin Drill since the card was recently nerfed. But other than that, I have no experience with the deck. So we're going to go ahead and just hop straight into some games and see if this is a good deck and if I can play it. I, I, I hope I can play it. I've been trying to improve with just all bridge spam in general. But this deck looks really interesting. So I wanted to see if it would fit fit the kind of what I'm used to or if I would just go ahead and tilt with it. But it does look interesting, to say the absolute least. So, let's go ahead and see what we can get done with it. So we're against uh, Glitch Too Good from Stealth West. So, we do have Ben, E-Barbs, e and Dark Prince as our ground unit. Especially if somebody's still using the drill, the Dark Prince is going to be nice. And then we also have Mother Witch E was an Inferno Dragon as our air. So I feel like I'm safe to just go ahead and cycle a Mother Witch here. Because we do have two other air units if he has an air deck. And, um, I think the Mother Witch would be the least punishable out of all these. So let's go ahead and fireball the Ewas. We're going to wait for just a moment. Make sure we fireball the Ewas towards our Mother Witch. Yeah, okay. So he's going to have a Prince. Go for a low Bandit here. And that's going to be a nice defense there. Prince should die. We're only going to take two Ewas shots probably. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Um, definitely not the end of the world considering the trades we had made. So... Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and cycle my Inferno Dragon here, because he doesn't have his Ewis, and I don't want to cycle my Dark Prince for fear if he's running Giant. Um, so he's going to actually have an Inferno Dragon of his own. So I'm just going to Barbarrel right here to protect our Inferno Dragon just a little bit. Hopefully our Inferno Dragon can lock onto his. Go ahead and begin taking it out. Um, and yeah, so that Inferno Dragon battle actually went really well there. And we only spent an extra two elixir, but we're both bleeding here. So this guy really does not like to make plays, which is kind of unfortunate. I wanted to get this game underway here. So he is going to have a Mega Knight, which is understandable considering he has e -Wiz. He also has, um, um, trying to think of the card name, Inferno Dragon. That's a popular card to use with Mega Knight. I considered actually putting the Mega Knight in for the drill, but I kind of like the Mother Witch. I like the triple air, no problem versus really any air decks. So he's going to NATO this. Oh, I thought the Mother Witch was going to live just a little bit longer, but that's fine. We're going to get our E-Barbs on top of this Mega Knight. And unfortunately, they take way too much damage uh, for what we really needed them to take there. E-Barb does not get a hit on E-Wiz. We're just going to Inferno Dragon in the back. And I'm going to go in for a Bandit in the opposite lane. So my plan here is to E-Wiz with... Uh, actually, we can Dark Prince. Yeah, and then I'm going to E-Wiz with our Inferno Dragon here. Try and win this Inferno Dragon battle, or at least force out like a Fireball if he's got it there. So it looks like he's just going to go... Oh, he's going to go for a Mega Knight. Really interesting play there. I'm going to go all in over here. He's going to have a Goblin Drill. And we're, our Inferno Dragon is taking everything out here. So we're just going to continue to spam. We definitely need to at least Tower Trade him here. And it looks like that's what's going to happen. But we have a massive Counter Push. And the Mega Knight's not really going to do too much damage to my Tower. So he's going to go in for a Prince. That Prince is just um, melted. The Prince is gone. We're going to Barbell towards his King Tower. And we're looking really good right now. The Inferno Dragon is relocked on. I don't think he's got anything in cycle. No, he doesn't. That's going to be a three crown victory to start off the video. Very nice stuff right there. Um, yeah, definitely just really nice that we were able to come out with that bridge battle. Not the bridge battle, excuse me, the tower trade and have so many counter pushing units even though he had a goblin drill. So we'll go into our next game here against Sajid Freestyle from La Perra Nera. That's an Italian and I just probably butchered that accent, but... It is what it is. It is what it is. So he's going to go in for bats. I would really love to have my Mother Witch in cycle right now, but we don't and can't really complain. The bats won't get any damage, but we're not going to get any good, nice counter push off of them. Just go E-Barbs um, around this Prince. No charge allowed for that Prince, but we do let him cross the bridge there so that we can get maximum value from our E-Barbs. And he's going to have a Mega Knight, another Mega Knight deck. Maybe even the same one. I might make a video coming up soon if this is the same deck that the other guy was using. So gonna go with our inferno dragon and then i'm gonna go for an ewas up high just to kill off the skarmy and he's gonna zap that's an overcommit in my opinion especially since the mega knight's probably not even gonna get any damage now let's go ahead with the dark prince we don't have enough for our mother which unfortunately if he bats but it should not be terrible i mean definitely just barbell this 
Uh, nice bat play, nice bats on his end. Hopefully our Dark Prince can still get a charge. No, that was a really nice defense there. But we do get another incidental barb hit on tower, which, excuse me, I'm about to cough. You can never complain about when you get that barb damage, especially we still have a decent damage lead. I mean, it's not very much considering whoever wins this will probably win really um, dominate in a really dominant fashion, but it is a good damage lead to have nonetheless. So going to go for a Goblin Drill. Um, so we're just E-Barbs this, and the E-Barbs are going to do a really good job at killing everything. No damage taken, plus we have some very healthy E-Barbs still on the counter push. So I'm going to go in for an E. I want to save my Inferno Dragon for his Mega Knight if he does end up using it, which he probably will, considering how long he's waiting. Oh, he's going to go for a Skarmie, actually. So I'm going to Mother Witch. We're going to try and capitalize on this Prince. No, Mother Witch says, no, I'm not going to do that. So Mother Witch will go ahead and start converting the Skeleton Army into Piggies. Um, this should be a pretty decent matchup considering we have the Mother Witch and he doesn't really have anything great for her. But we do need to be careful if he Mega Knights here. Yeah, he does Mega Knight. Okay, so we're going to go for a low Inferno Dragon. My plan here is probably going to be to let the Mega Knight lock and build up a massive counter push coming back at him. So we do need to Fireball. We do need to go for an Electro Wizard and then we probably need to Bar Barrel this. We kind of whiffed it. We could have hit all the goblins there, but we do get a pretty decent counter push coming at him. Uh, we do lose the damage lead, however, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. And honestly, that actually wasn't a great counter push for me. Uh, Musketeer is just going to put in absolute work there. So Barb hits both of those wall breakers, which is really cool. Uh, we're going to go with a high Inferno Dragon here. Set up for this uh, attack at the bridge. And then, yeah, now everything's going to come and we're going to let every we're going to go like this. We're going to get definitely just let the Mother Witch. Mother Witch is going to start doing her thing now. We're going to put down a second Mother Witch. And now we've commandingly won this bridge battle. Let's go ahead for a bandit here. Can't get her to dash yet, unfortunately. But we can go for a bar barrel here. And Prince is just going to get absolutely shredded here. Mother Witch is on top of the skeleton army. Uh, let's go in for an Ewis. He's trying to swarm her down. Mother Witch not dead yet, though. So many piggies in the Inferno Dragon. And our Ewis here. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to be quite yet game, but it's going to be really close. Yeah, that's really nice for us. So, he just spent so much elixir. Let's go for our Inferno Dragon on the back. Going to be the slowest unit to go and engage this Musketeer with. Let's go for a Bandit in the middle to try and take her out. He doesn't have his Wall Breakers in cycle, so uh, this is looking pretty good. And look at how long he had to wait there. The fact that he waited so long means he's down so much elixir. And our Inferno Dragon is going to get a ton of value here. Um... Let the Dark Prince just go in front here. We're going to go for some E-Barbs. That was a horrible E-Barbs. I wrote a pre-fireball to Skarmie, though. I just lost, I think, boys. I think I just lost. Um, yeah, that was really bad. I, I tried to correct for about 18 mistakes I just made there. Um, you need to go for an Inferno Dragon. We need to be really careful here. Let's go for our E-Wiz. Goblin Drill's coming in late, but I think we're going to actually be able to kill almost everything now. Uh, we can go for a Dark Prince to protect this. We can go for our... Bar barrel here. That Inferno Dragon is going to clean up those wall breakers nicely. That was a great defense for what we had. But we definitely threw with that play right there. So we're just gonna um we're just gonna play our bandit here. We're gonna go for E Barbs in the back. We do need to try and get down an E Wiz here. Mother Witch is gonna do one hoggy there, and I think we should actually be okay. We're trying to retarget this Mega Knight. Yes, we do. Actually, no, we don't. We we failed to target the Mega Knight. Retarget the Mega Knight. Uh, let's fireball this Musketeer. I don't think he's got his Mega Knight in cycle yet. Piggies are on tower. That's going to be just one fireball, I think. If the Piggy gets a nibble, yes, it does. Let's go ahead and cycle back as quick as we possibly can. Let's go in for our... Let's go in for just ba basically protecting everything here. Let's go in for this. We're going to go in for... Going to go in for our... What's it called? A barbell on there. Trying to commentate, even though nothing's going to happen. We were able to block for just enough time. That's two wins in a row with this deck. And I'm kind of liking it. I honestly like how it feels. Nothing's really too awkward about it. I'm not really having many problems, you know, getting my cycle correct. Let's go ahead and open up this chest. I'm not really having too many problems correcting my cycle. I'm not really having too many problems getting out cycled, but I haven't faced a cycle deck. Um, there just don't doesn't seem to be any glaring weaknesses with this deck that would say I need to stop using it um, right now. So let's go ahead and just go for a barbell since he logged. Um... He's going to go in for skeletons, and I speak of the devil, we got a cycle deck on our hands here. Let's see how it fares. Let's go for our e-barbs here. I think those are in time to stop all hits. No, I think one of the e-barbs... Oh, it didn't turn for the skeleton. Yeah, good job, e-barb. Okay, so definitely going to fireball this firecracker. Don't want to deal with her. Probably just going to go for a log. Yeah, he's going to have to skeletons too, though. 
And if two of those skeletons had survived, I would have considered Mother Witching, but now, now we're not going to. So our main defense to the Hog Rider is going to be Ewas plus another card for no hits and the E-Barbs for another for no hits. So that is what our plan is going to be looking going into this game. So since it's in the other lane, um, honestly, I'm just going to let the Hog get a hit and just have our Ewas come down there and defend it for just one hit. And I'm not, sure how, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to win this matchup. Like, I don't know how I'm going to break through. I haven't really formulated that game plan yet, so let's hope the firecracker goes in front. It looks like she's not going to, but we can bar barrel, and we kind of whiffed at that. We really did whiff that. Uh, firecracker does die. We try and keep our mother witch uh, surprised for as long as I can. Nice fire spirit there for us is going to allow us to kill the um, is going to allow the dark prince to kill the fire spirit before it even wakes up. And I think this is the time to mother witch because he's going to skeletons to pull the e barbs in. That's going to be one piggy. That's going to be two piggies. No, nope. two piggies. Nice. So we get two piggies, now we can ban in the opposite lane, considering it's going to have to knight. He doesn't really have anything to pull into the middle. He doesn't have much elixir either. Uh, Mother Witch is going to do a nice job, and we're going to get some good damage with this bandit. Mother Witch also going to turn that into a piggy. 1827 on his tower, we have enough for an Ewiz if he decides to attack. Very good start to this game. However, damage is going to be a lot harder to come by coming into double, and I have to eat the Fire Spirit. I need to be damage conscientious. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Like, sometimes I just can't pronounce. But I need to be really damage conscientious. Conscientious. Uh, oh my god. You know what I'm trying to say. I need to be really careful about taking damage here. I need to choose my damage wisely. Um, let's just go ahead and bar barrel here. And I think I'm going to Mother Witch again. Oh, we actually do hit the Hog Rider. Cool stuff right there. I cannot fireball this firecracker though. And the reason why is if I fireball him, her, she's just gonna, he's just going to play another firecracker in a moment. And I'm going to be kind of screwed because I don't have anything uh, for that firecracker. So we can go in for our Bandit Low here. And then, yeah, definitely going to have to take this fireball value ho here. Hopefully we can hit the firecracker. Okay, I whiffed the firecracker. Let's just go ahead and Dark Prince then. Get ready to siphon off this lane. Uh, that's going to be a nice E-Barbs on t the Hog Rider there. You can go for a Barbell, and the firecracker is going to push yourself back into this. And you can already see he's caught up in damage, and there's really nothing I can do about it. Like, I'm just kind of stuck playing his game. I have no way to really set the pace of the game here. I'm just screwed because I don't have any way to really change up how what he's doing. There's no nothing, no mistake that he can really make to punish. And he can just pre-test like that. Like, I really hate cycle decks. This is the prime reason why I hate cycle decks. What he's doing does not take skill. What he's doing is one of the most basic things you can do. And this is what happens every time a cycle player can play a bridge band player. Like this is just really basic gameplay that anybody can really do once they have just a small amount of practice. And that's going to be a hit. I misplaced my e-barbs there. I mean, there's just really nothing that I can do though. He cycles another firecracker. He cycles a Tesla. He cycles his earthquakes. And he's not going to get punished for it no matter what. Just because all these cards get so much value. So I won't give up until the tower falls. But it's not looking good for us at the moment. Definitely not looking good for us. Firecracker gets another hit. Let's just go ahead and spam him here. We don't really have anything else to lose. Go for a fireball. Try and kill this Tesla now. We do have a bandit. He does screw up uh, quite a bit there with that defense, but it doesn't matter. The game is already over. Bandit would have gotten on tower, but that's going to be GG's. We really needed to take his tower and single there, but this deck really just excels at not losing its tower and single in this kind of matchup. So, I mean, I guess we can credit him for not really making mistakes, but we can't really credit him for doing anything special. Um, I mean, I guess... You could say the other two things about that, the last two matches, but it is what it is. It is what it is. We're going to go into our final game here against TG1 Pesadilla. Um, I always read the lines there as ones, even though I know it's not a one. It's just the easiest thing to say, because I don't know what you would call that character. I don't know how you would say that character. Um, but yeah, that is just something that I think a lot of other people do. So we can go in for a Mother Witch gonna be my slowest unit and if he has golem then i don't want to use my inferno dragon right now and he does have golem so hopefully our mother witch can spawn a piggy mother witch oh that's actually so bad for us right there uh he's just gonna lightning this this is really unfortunate honestly uh if he lightnings if he doesn't lightning this is really good okay wow he didn't lightning curious stuff there now we have the biggest counter push uh, in the world coming back at him. Ah, E-Barbs. Okay, he's got E-Barbs. Alrighty. I understand now. Okay, so Mother Witch gonna get on top of the Archer. And honestly, my plan here is just going to be to Bandit the Bomber and not the Archer. Let the Archer die to the tower and the Bandit's gonna go ahead and clean up the Bomber. 
and we get a nice counter push probably gonna force out a high night witch that he can't golem in front of okay he's just gonna go for the skarmy so this shouldn't be a horrible matchup but then again we never know what can happen with the night witch bats she can always come out and just do something crazy so let's go ahead and e-barbs into this now yeah, he has the bomber uh, i can definitely take this fireball value if i need to otherwise i'm probably just gonna take the tower here and then night witch should die to the mother witch which was the hope there that this is best case scenario right here because bomber also dies holy crap we can actually three crown him right now what just happened yeah he's got the arrows but we're gonna get so much damage on king he has no counter push we just took half of his king i said best case scenario earlier that was best case scenario that was amazing that push really doesn't normally work out like that but i still have to do it and we we in, it ended up working out like that which is really good for us so we can just go for an inferno dragon um Whichever card I cycle two of here, I can probably get down, or first, so my Inferno Dragon, probably get down two Inferno Dragons here. So, if he goes in for E-Barbs, which I think he will, then we can just Fireball Barbarrel them, honestly, and kill the Night Witch as well. Uh, he's going to go for a Lightning, but everything's still alive, and now he's really low on Elixir here. That was almost all of his Elixir right there. Uh, he's going to go for some E-Barbs in the opposite lane. I'm not really that worried about them yet, though. I uh, might be worried about them now. Fireball's going to come down. I, I think if we bandit here, we're not going to lose our tower. As long as we don't lose our tower, we're absolutely chilling. Oh, yeah, plenty of HP on that tower. That's looking really good for us right now. So Bandit's going to go ahead and get on. He's got 16 seconds to work some Miracle. Golem does not work that fast, though. That's going to be good game well played. We can just really do whatever the heck we want. Um, and, yeah, that was a really nice game right there. Obviously, that one push working out as well as it did. Not something that normally happens a whole lot, but it did work out for us really well there and ended up grant granting us the win. So, that's going to be a nice game right there. Alright, so we have our final game of the video here against Joel Mendo 26 And I think with this hand, we can go ahead and just Dark Prince now because he's going to play the minor. That's really cool of him there. Um... Man, with this goblin drill, Miner looks like it's moving so fast. I know I'm not the only one who's thought about that, but it looks like it's moving so fast. So, he's going to go and zap, but we still get three Dark Prince hits, which is fun. Uh, and he's going to have a Lava Hound and we Inferno Dragon at the same time. That is what you like to see right there. So, let's just go ahead and Ewiz all the way in the back. We do have the Mother Witch if he decides to play anything else. So, he's going to have a Baby Dragon. He's just gonna fireball the inferno dragon really really expensive there and it's not even gonna get him a whole lot uh let's go for e-barbs here and i think he's just lost the game here i really do think he's just lost the game he zaps he's still committing still committing so much elixir we can go in for a bandit we have like eight piggies coming at him that's definitely gonna be tower down and yeah he had to spend just so much elixir that's the inferno dragon at the bridge that we like to see and that's gonna be a good game right there um yeah, honestly, wow, 1 minute and 17 seconds in, we've already won. So let's go in for one more, since that was just really the shortest game that I've ever played. No, probably not, but it is a really short game right there. Exceptionally short, uh, considering just really overcommit on that attack, he really couldn't defend it at all. So now we're up against Met Matitos SA. And let's see what he wants to do here. So... Um, the one thing, I said there were no glaring weaknesses earlier, I think, maybe, um, but if I did, the one glaring weakness I see is sometimes you just really don't have a good starting play. So, we're gonna Mother Witch, he's gonna just fireball her immediately, he's also gonna have a zap. So let's go ahead and just Dark Prince here, considering we have our E-Barbs and our Bandit up next for any ground attack. And he's going to have a Dark Prince of his own, so why don't we e -wiz here? It looks like he's probably going to be Royal Giant, um, or, or just Normal Giant, okay. So let's ban it off to the side, hopefully she comes back and helps with the Dark Prince. I think he's going to be a little bit too low to Fireball, hopefully. Yes, at the moment he is too low to Fireball, he's probably going to Fireball on defense here. Um, yes he is, but the E-Barbs are still quite alive. And that's going to be a hit on Tower, but it's not going to... I was really hoping that would do some more. I was hoping that Ebarbs would get some like lucky shots because he just got a thousand damage and overcommitted. But I I don't have anything in my hand to punish him. I mean I can go for a bar barrel, but what that's only like four hundred damage because he's gonna have to eat that due to a cycle. And I guess it's not bad. We're only down by like three hundred damage now. But 
Yeah, I guess we can just go for a Mother Witch in the back because he doesn't have his Fireball. He's going to go in for a Prince. So let's just Dark Prince here as well. Counter that Prince. Uh, maybe get a Piggy out of the Mother Witch. We'll have to see. Uh, probably not. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get a Piggy. I do want to go in for a Inferno Dragon because if he goes in for anything at the bridge to support and protect his Mega Minion, um, we can just go in for a Fireball Barbell on top of it. So he's going to go in for a Miner. Let's just go ahead and Barbell in the back. Um, I want a Mother Witch early, see if we can bait out his Fireball. Giant's actually going to take some decent damage there from the Inferno Dragon. A heck of a lot of damage. You'd love to see that. So let's go ahead and just E-Barb's up top here. Oh, nice voice crack right there. Uh, let's go ahead and E-Wiz on top of this. He's going to get um, no damage from the giant. Um, he might end up going for another giant of his own here. Let's see if he does. No, it doesn't look like he's going to. His E-Wiz is really far out of cycle. So that, I th in my opinion, that's a questionable giant here. Um, we'll have to see how it works out for uh, him and me, though. Bandit does get on tower. Going to even up the damage which is really good for us here. So go for a high mother, which need to be out that fireball. Let's go ahead and just fireball right here. He whiffs his fireball really severely, I would say. So let's go ahead and go in for an Ewis there. Inferno Dragon is still alive. Everything is still alive. I think we can just spam him here, see what we can get done. He's going to go for a giant to kite, but the Ewis, everything is still alive over there. And the E-barbs are not going to be killed. They're just going to be distracted for the time being. So Let's just go ahead and let everything play out here for the moment. Let's go ahead and Barbarrel. Um, we do hit the Dark Prince. And Prince is going to get dragged over here. I'm going to Fireball this though. Just so I don't have to deal with any of that. And maybe the Dark Prince can get a charge here. Let's go Dark Prince. Oh, okay. We forced out a Zap. We forced out a Zap. That's going to be perfectly good for us. Um, he's going to go in for a Giant. So let's see what we can do here. Let's see, if he goes in for an Ewiz, we are going to go in for a Fireball Barbell combo. And do I even need to? Yeah, I still am going to need to. So let's go ahead and just Barbell, Fireball. Kill off the Dark Prince pretty much here. Hey, did he just whiff another Fireball? I don't, I, I, I can't tell. I, I, I think he Fireballed, but um, honestly, we're just going to let everything play out here. <laughs> oh man, that was one weird ending to that game, but... A win is a win, I will not complain, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I think this deck is pretty good. Honestly, I think this deck is much better than I was coming into the video expecting it to be. Um, you do also, you, like, it's really good at ground and air defense, it's really well balanced in those kind of ways, but you can maybe get into some awkward cycles where you just have four elixir cards that you can't really cycle, especially starting plays, starting plays could be weird sometimes. Um, however, we do walk away with the win. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you tomorrow, probably in the next video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.